Hey, good morning, intermediate algebra students. Um, today we were going to do two videos. Um, so the first one is combining like terms with rational coefficients. Um, the first example I have here for you is pretty simple. Um, if I can kind of do a highlighter pen, I think it kind of makes it nice and easy. So I'm going to grab a highlighter pen here. If you, first thing I like to do is I like to take my uh, variables and combine those like terms. So I've got a positive 5.1t and a negative 1.9t. If I add those two together, I would get th a positive 3.2t. Then the next step I like to do is I take my constants or my numbers and I add those together. And so when I add these together, uh, negative 3.6 and a positive 1.2 equals a negative 2.4. So your answer on this one, 3.2t and a negative 2.4. Notice I don't say minus here. I just call it what it is, whether it's positive or negative, and I put in that appropriate sign. So uh, let's do the next one here, okay? Uh, we're going to simplify this one here. So again, I'm going to take a look at my uh, variables first. I have a negative 0.07a, and then plus a negative... Uh, 3.92a. So if I have a negative here and a negative here, we always add those together. So that would be a negative 3.99a. Um, I only have the one constant, so nothing to add together there. So the answer is negative 3.99a plus 1.7 uh, and a positive 1.17. All right, let's do one more here. So now we've got some fractions with some distribution to do. These look tougher than they really are, but if you really think about it, they're not that bad. So I'm going to go back to my highlighter pen. I'm going to grab a different color this time for the actual highlighting. Um, you know that 2 would be the same as 2 over 1. I believe you know that. So if I multiply the fraction of 2 over 1 times 1 over 5, you just multiply the top, you multiply the bottoms. Um, so 2 times 1 fifth, or 2, if you had 2 1 fifths, how much would that be? Well, you might say that's two-fifths, and you'd be correct, so it's two-fifths m. And then if I double my negative two-fifths, well, if I had two-fifths before and I double it, now I've got negative four-fifths. Um, the only deal is with my negative four-fifths right here, as this turns into negative four-fifths, and I've got a positive three-fifths, add those together, and you might say, oh, you have more positives than you have negatives by, I'm sorry, more negatives than positives by one-fifth. So it'd be the two-fifths m, and then the negative four-fifths and the positive three-fifths results in a negative one-fifth. Hopefully that answers the questions for this one. Let's quickly move on to equivalent expressions. This one is not too terribly difficult. I have a z here plus, I can distribute a positive one if I want to, but a positive one times anything just leaves it the same. So z plus z is 2z plus 6. Well, this turns into be 3z, so that's wrong. This turns in to be 12, so that's wrong. Let's see, 2 times z is 2z, 2 times 3 is 6. Hey, this one is our correct answer for that one. <clears throat> Let's do the next one. So I need equivalent expressions, and it tells you to choose 2 in this case. So k divided by 2. So k divided by 2. I, I, basically, if I'm dividing k by 2, I'm taking half of k, if that makes sense. Um, so k minus 2 is not the same as k divided by 2. I think you all know that. Um, 2 divided by k is not the same as k divided by 2. Those are the are almost opposites. Hey, here's one, half of k. This is exactly what this one is, multiplying k by half. So that would be 1. Or dividing k by 2. This is Really, this bar right here is just a division bar, so it's k divided by 2, which is exactly letter D. And then, obviously, that one would not work. Moving on to our final example. Expressions equivalent to this. I like to solve this out. So 2 times b would be 2b plus 6c. So 2b here, this would become 6c here. Let's see, 3 times b would be 3b. Well, that can't work, so I'm done there. I've got a b, one, two b's here, and 6c here, so this one would work. And again, I like to check the other ones. 2 times b would be 2b. Well, yeah, that's the same. And 2 times 3c would be 6c. So actually, this one actually ended up having multiple answers. Hey, that's how you do it. Uh, neither of these are terribly difficult. You should be able to get through them. Of course, you can always see me there in office hours, and I will help you there as well. Have a great day. Bye-bye.